Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Manish Goyal. And HPE seems to be doing really, really well in the storage market right now. Why is that? You know, we just saw the latest results from IDC, and for the first time in a very long time, we were number one in total storage market share. So this is a big moment for us. And underneath that, there really are two big trends that are going on. The storage market is breaking apart or bifurcating into two design centers. The external storage market is really all about the transition from hard drives to all flash. And there is an emergence of an internal storage or server-led storage. And that's really all around the software-defined data center. And we have really compelling offerings in both. We are gaining share in external storage and we're gaining share in internal storage. In external storage is because of our three-part product portfolio and the capabilities of the all flash of that portfolio. And at this Discover, we made a big announcement on our composable data fabric strategy for enabling internal storage. So what do you think it is that, that HPE and 3PAR are doing right to, uh, to kind of take this leadership position in the market? So as Flash becomes mainstream, there really are three attributes that of all Flash system needs to deliver. It is clearly about performance, and it's really not about raw performance, but it's about predictability of performance. But that performance has to be affordable, and it has to deliver all the enterprise services, whether it is disaster recovery, data protection, backup, quality of service, peer motion, all the enterprise services for it to become a mainstream adoption. 3PAR is the only platform that can deliver that across the board from the low end to the high end, from hard drives to an all flash system without any compromises on performance, affordability, or enterprise services. And then on the um, internal storage side, are you guys seeing a greater adoption of internal storage? Again, is there kind of an uptick in using internal storage versus external storage? Is that, is that part of why uh, things are going well there as well? Absolutely. I think uh, we are seeing that there are many, many applications that are naturally better suited to internal storage because an internal storage now, which is a server with a lot of disks, whether it is SSDs or hard drives, is becoming a pretty big unit of infrastructure. So the processing power, the amount of storage you can have in a server, that combined with some ability to break it apart into logical containers, whether it is through VMware and virtualization, whether it is through containerization. So a server is becoming a good delivery unit now. So enabling that to service multiple types of applications, whether it is virtualization applications, VDI, remote offices, or even big content stores with object storage, those are all becoming very relevant forms of delivering data services. So what's HPE doing that's going to keep you guys out in front and stay in the lead going forward? We are driving two design centers. The all flash data center is really about our three power product line and making sure that we are staying at the forefront of exploiting flash today and the future is really all about persistent memory over there so we are continuing to incorporate all the next generation memory architectures that are becoming relevant. So, On, so you're talking like the machine type stuff? Machine is a very good and compelling conceptual framework that defines where the future is headed. There are concepts from the machine that will apply to commercial products. Machine is a framework that helps us think about what does the world that is really a memory and data centric world as opposed to a processor centric world look like. On the internal storage, it's about delivering a common data fabric that is hardware agnostic and can deliver all the data services without any compromises. All right, well, I look forward to see where, where all this goes in the future. Thanks, Manish. Thank you, Jake. It was a pleasure.